Welcome, this is Tom Rush, Rush Reviews. Today we've got for you the Maxpedition Mini. This is the uh, bigger brother, if you like, to the Micro. This was the Micro that uh, you may have seen, I've already done a review on. So, as I say, its sibling is this one here. So, let's, uh, let's go over this one and uh, see what I can tell you about it. Uh, I'll just give you a look at the front. There you go. Back. Side. Okay. It's pretty packed. It's got a fair bit in there. Uh, basically, I pulled everything out of the smaller one, its little brother and I put it in here along with a few other things that I take with me if I need the extra. If I don't, I'll take this one. It's smaller, it's easier to manage. This one's a little bigger. Sometimes you need those extra items and then this one comes with me. Most of the time, 90% of the time, it'll be this one though. Which one I would I recommend that you get? the size that works for you with the gear you need to take on an everyday carry basis. So that is entirely your choice, dependent on what you're doing with it. So, moving on, I'll unzip that for you. Obviously it's got the front, the horrible to get into Velcro pouch in the, the front slip in the front there, which uh, is knitted so that you can see what's in there. Okay, but like I say, it's a beast to get into. So if you just want to stick something down the sides where the Velcro is not, uh, you could obviously put silencing tape or whatever on there uh, to stop the, uh, to actually stop the Velcro from making that horrible noise, uh, which is okay sometimes, but obviously if you're in a, a quiet place, uh, that can be a little bit uh, irritating. Maybe not to you, but maybe to those around you. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't use it, but uh, I could easily slip something in there if need be. So, it, at least I have the choice. Now, I'll open that up. And, ta -da, there you go. So, let me give you a little... Uh, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take things out one by one and uh, give you a look at what... I use on the daily okay as for yourself uh, it'll be your own stuff but uh, that's just what works for me so if it works for you too that's terrific uh, I really like the clamshell design whereby it's sort of got the gusset in the middle there the clamshell design really allows it to uh, uh, you open it up you can see everything you need grab out what you want leave in there what you don't, zip it back up, and you're good to go. The uh, reason I chose Maxpedition, by the way, is uh, I've had Maxpedition uh, bags, pouches, all sorts of things before from Maxpedition. They've held up, uh, and they'll no doubt outlive me. So uh, that's good enough for moi, and uh, it's probably good enough for you. Am I paying a premium for that? Yeah, sure, there's always something cheaper out there. You could probably get uh, a similar thing to this for uh, one third, one quarter of the price, uh, if you really looked hard. But I think it's extraordinary value for money, uh, considering uh, I can afford the little bit extra. If you can't, well, that's gotta come into play. But as far as the uh, quality of it, it holds up and uh, it's super tough. Uh, YKK, uh, it's got to be YKK. I just about any zipper thing that has zippers on it, if it's not YKK, it's pretty well how I judge the quality of it. Uh, did they cheap out and not use YKK or did they use YKK? They did, uh, so I'm happy. It's also got the, uh, these are the big uh, zip pulls that you can fit paracord through. They're, they're the tough ones. Uh, the the actual zippers themselves are YKK. Um, they're the uh, ones that don't get jammed and uh, they hold up. Uh, they're tough, like super tough. So anyway, uh, this one actually comes with a zipper there, zipper there, so that you can meet them in the middle. Uh, this one here uh, only comes with a single one. So 
Anyway, um, so this one we're talking about, but just to let you know, the, uh, what do I bring? Well, all right, I have some chapstick. Generally, it's what, like, I don't know, four or five times a year I might actually use this stuff. The rest of the time, my wife uses it. My kids use it. Uh, so I seem to be the only one that hasn't lost a chapstick or a, um, uh, a lip moisturizer for wind protection, UV, all that sort of thing. And uh, they always do. So it's really a case of, um, yeah, uh, it's handy to have. Uh, for the for the family and uh, sometimes for me uh, I love these why well when I was growing up as a kid uh, 1970s give you some idea this uh, really um, uh, it was the one about the only brand that I think we had available to us uh, in Australia in the part of Australia that I was in anyway and uh, I was a little disappointed they used to have a metal um, like a tin um, <laughs> and now they've uh, the tin cap too but now they've changed it to all plastic it's hardier it works better i guess uh but yeah still looks this much the same uh so there you go it's the chapstick or the um uh, lip balm whatever you may want to use the uh pen it's a space pen uh fisher space pen uh, i like the fact that it's small it's uh discreet you can uh, put the back uh, cap on it and you've got a full length pen so uh, obviously, you know, it's, it's got the space pen, uh, good things. You can write underwater, you can, which I do all the time. <laughs> um, it's got, uh, I do like the fact you can write up high and uh, ultimately it uh, keeps flowing because it's pressurized uh, ink cartridge in there. So I love that fact and uh, it keeps me coming back. So yeah, I'm sure you've all seen those. Uh, a little bit of spare cash. Uh, I just keep 20 bucks in there, uh, just in case. And uh, I have, uh, uh, when I need them, I need them. And uh, I need them pretty regularly because my nails grow super fast. So, and so do my toenails. So uh, considering I grow them that fast and I do have some ingrown toenails, I wanted a decent set of clippers uh, that I could uh, take around with me uh, if need be. And uh, these ones are actually uh, Green Bell. I bought these off Amazon. They, uh, they come in um, uh, smaller versions and larger versions. Uh, this one sort of does my toenails, it does my fingernails. So uh, I find it good and it's even got a little uh, emery board sort of thing under there that uh, yeah, it works really well. So uh, that is that. How does it cut? Um, wow, these are good. Uh, these are razor sharp and when you chop big thick toenails like mine that are ingrowing, it does it as painlessly as humanly possible. So I love these. Wouldn't be without them. Uh, torch, um, always got to have a torch. Yes, I've got one on the phone, but uh, if something happens there, I've got a spare. So hence, I didn't really want a great big torch to bolt this thing out. I really just wanted, this is an everyday, everyday carry pack. So it's got to be um, light, relatively light and uh, you know, useful. So I don't want stuff in there I'm just never going to use. Uh, so yeah, um, it, it does the trick, um, works well. Uh, it's got a, a good uh, throw on it. Uh, it's probably about uh, the, uh, well, I'm not sure how many lumens it is, but uh, pretty bright. I'd probably guess at about uh, 300. Uh, it's just a triple A, um, uh, Phoenix, um, Phoenix, uh, LD01, uh, pretty old school, this one, um, this was bought, it's still going strong after, a, uh, about 15 years, and, uh, it's got, uh, the twist versus the click, I prefer the click, but this does stop it from, uh, getting clicked on, and the battery's going dead on you, so, maybe not a bad choice, uh, that I have uh, I have an Apple phone so and an Apple iPad so uh, sometimes I get caught and it's nice to have uh, that there yeah it does get used it's probably used about uh, eight times a year uh, whilst it's in this uh, carry-on pack sometimes more uh, so that's that 
Uh, I've got some uh, oh tummy rumbles uh, uh, modium uh, tablets so that uh, if I uh, feel the need, I've uh, got a bit of uh, you know uh, eating something a bit funny, and uh, let's say I'm uh, somewhere I yeah really in trouble. Uh, these will stop me from uh, having any accidents. Uh, the uh, what else do I keep in there? Oh, okay. It's got the key loop uh, or key uh, hook or retainer, which uh, can easily just get the keys on and off, which, yeah, unlike most guys, I don't chop it off. I do keep it and I have on there just a house key, uh, one of these uh, tweezers. Um, uh, you probably know the sort, Uncle Bill's uh, Slither, Slither uh, Gripper. Uh, this one's uh, seen a fair bit of uh, use uh, in the bush and uh, come with me all sorts of ways. You just never know when you're going to get uh, a big nasty splinter and you just want to pull that uh, sucker out. So yeah, it definitely gets used from time to time, often enough that it's in there and not big enough that it's uh, a problem really. So then you've got the, uh, just a lacy uh, memory key, uh, which uh, I use for uh, odds, odd things from time to time. It's pretty rare, but to get the truth, it takes up nothing. So when I do need it, it's a bonus. The, uh, uh, let's that lock. So I just tuck that back inside there. I'm not being used or accessed. can stay there. And I've got over this side, I've got the, uh, just the mandatory Bic lighter and uh, I love this lighter um, because I used to pack like be a bit crazy and pack like the fire steel and everything or the, the fire started flint and uh, yeah, it's just easier and people say hey do you want a lighter you pull out, pull out a fire steel or a, a flint or whatnot and they're like oh great uh, but this is um, I don't know how many times I've been at somebody's place and has anyone got a lighter? I need to light up the, the candles on the birthday cake or whatever it might be. Uh, yep, no problem. So camping, all that sort of thing, obviously it gets you out of trouble. Sometimes you just need one. So comes in handy. Uh, then I've got uh, the likes of, this is, uh, I'm going to do a review on this one a little later. I, I absolutely love this uh, knife. This is a, uh, a little, uh, Savivi uh, Bow is the uh, name of this one, and it's a um, yeah, BZ, it's a Brad Zinker, I think it is. Um, Brad Zinker, I think, I believe, is the designer for this one. It's his uh, little logo there, and uh, he, he's a bit of a whiz when it comes to um, uh, his designs of his knives. They're, um, they're kind of traditional in their uh, layout. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll do a I'll do a review on that another time. Why is this one in here? Well, um, it's one of my favourites uh, for EDC purposes, so why not? Uh, yeah, uh, great little, great little one. So yeah, that's that. That's Inca. And uh, then I've got the. Of course, the mandatory uh, Swiss Army knife. I believe this one is it's three layer. I believe this one is like a, a camper or something along those lines. It's got the what I need, which is the uh, scissors. They're the most used item out of it. Secondly, would be the um, uh, the fact that it's got uh, uh, bottle opener and can opener. I don't use the can opener as much these days because a lot of cans have to pull it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I do use that a fair bit. Uh, the bottle opener and the uh, can opener from rare time to time. Uh, the uh, scissors all the time. The main blade here. Uh, yeah, it's a good main blade, good sort of size. Just show you compared to. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, just show you compared to this. Okay, so you got a bit more belly, a bit more blade um, on the uh, Brad Zinker Savivi uh, bow, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, um, 
a little bit thicker, but not much, so it's very slicey. Uh, both of them are very slicey blades. And uh, yeah, so it's got the knife, it's got the um, smaller knife, which I use the smaller knife probably bigger than more than I do the because you've got more control over it than the bigger one. It's got the uh, Phillips and uh, it's got a hook, you know, one of those hooks you can carry bags or plastic bags or whatever you want to carry, uh, which is this one here, if I can get it out. Yeah, a parcel carrier. So you hold it in your hand and you carry your part. Much easier. Um, have I ever used it? Never. But hey, it's there if I ever remember, which I never ever probably will. Uh, <laughs> So uh, then I've got just a, that's in there, it's just the, um, you know, your standard uh, uh, making a hole, um, a reamer, and uh, yeah, they work really well on these and uh, does the job. You can also use that one uh, as a uh, uh, needle, so to speak, so to put some thread through there for your paracord or whatnot which I don't have in here, which I should probably add, uh, but I just don't want to bulk it up too much. And of course you've got your mandatory, believe it or not, I use the toothpick a fair bit. And uh, I never use the tweezers off because they're just too flimsy. But um, not a bad one. Uh, if you know what that one's called, you can uh, put it in the comments down below. Uh, uh, let the others know, because I had a quick look and I couldn't, uh, couldn't find it, but I've got a camper, I think it's similar to that, but it might be called something different, I'm not too sure. Um, then I've got, now I'm getting old and a small print is becoming more and more prevalent these days, so I have a, a just a little, um, you know, uh, <laughs> magnifier that I can, uh, you know, increase the size of uh, small print to... Uh, a readable level uh, and works works well so uh, why not shove it in there it gets used all the time and then I have um, some just uh, headache tablets whatever you might want to use uh, I have some eye drops okay it seems like get very dry eyes and uh, you know, from the wind or cold or whatever it may be, and uh, I just find it much easier to soothe them with some drops. Don't use them that often, but boy, when I need them, I really need them. Uh, the other thing that is so easy to keep in there that really you should, because uh, it takes up no room, is uh, some just standard bandages so that uh, when you cut yourself after sharpening your knife, uh, yeah, they, they, it does a good job. So that's that. Um, I've got, uh, oh, oh, we got another one. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we got another one. Okay, maybe I'm going to be crazy there with band aids. Uh, field notes, um, I love these things. They're uh, the right size, perfect size to just, as you can see, fit in there. And uh, it's like it was custom made for it. And uh, it probably was. And yeah, you just basically can write your little notes in there, tear off a page, hand a phone number, whatever it might be. So that's about all I have in my little uh, kit. And I think, oh, hang on, there's more. Oh, yeah. And of course, the, uh, the key fob uh, works a treat. So that's about it. Uh, I do use this one fair bit when I'm not using the uh, micro. Uh, would I recommend uh, Maxpedition? Yeah, absolutely I would. Uh, uh, I mean I have tried others and you'll find the uh, stitching starts to tear and give way and this sort of thing. The um, Maxpedition just, just have a look at that. I mean double stitch down the center there, uh, stitching at the edges, box stitching here uh, you've got uh, on the handle pull you've got uh, you know the paracord uh, you've got the YKK zippers you've got the easy track and uh, you know get not get, don't get stuck uh, zip pull, zipper uh, tracks uh, it's just all good stuff you've got a bit of velcro there to stick a morel patch or something to make you smile 
on there. Uh, got obviously the um, obviously the uh, uh, get into it now. You've got that in there, which shove uh, something down there that you want to keep safe, and uh, yeah, you've got some Molly uh, attachments on the back here if you so choose to to use those, which a lot of people will go and put uh, uh, some uh, Molly uh, uh, clips. On here and here and they can thread that through their belt and wear it in a vertical fashion and you put the uh, uh, put a belt straight through there <laughs> wear it in horizontal carry uh, I don't know my belts too big for that I think but who knows maybe you could uh, yeah uh, look I'll, I'll give you some uh, quick a uh, couple of details uh, here on this uh, it is uh, yeah, it drops into your cargo pants, backpack. I put it in my camera bag if I need to take the bigger one or whatever bag, camping bag, whatever I might be taking with me, but I always make sure that it's within one hand's reach all the time. Um, as I say, I like the dual zippers um, because it does make it easier when you're trying to zip it back up because sometimes it can be pretty bulked up and that extra zipper gives you wiggle room just to inch it a little bit closer on that side, that closer on that side, if it's really stuffed. Um, you've got the inside left pocket here. Uh, that one there. Um, you've got the key leash. You've got the uh, clip for the, the keys to clip onto. You've got the um, uh, six dividers here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. That one, that one, as you can see, and that one are stitched to that inside left side pocket. So uh, that's how that works. Once again, you've got double stitching. Uh, that is elastic, but I do find the elasticity does after a while wear down a bit if you've got see that one's a little bit more stretched so anything in there that's been sitting for a bit tends to take that shape and stays there so it might be the only gripe i'd have against uh, the uh, max position uh, version of these pouches is the uh, fact that that elastic i feel as though it could have a little bit better uh, longevity in terms of uh, being stretched out and then being able to return to that, you know, the memory being able to return to where it was. Uh, other than that, though, it's uh, something that I think most people live with, and, but it could be improved on. Uh, then you've got uh, inside right, uh, the inside right slip pocket, which is this one here. Okay, not going to get more. Uh, that one there. And uh, that will uh, give you four dividers. There's a massive one there, as you can see. Oh, it could be cleaned up a bit at the back there, couldn't it? There you go. Uh, so one, two, three, four. One in the middle is a little bit smaller, but uh, does the job. And uh, you've got, obviously, the pals that I webbing that I showed you. Uh, you've got the, um, uh, it is Molly compatible by the way, um, you've got the, uh, you can attach using, um, yeah, three inch tack ties, uh, straps, uh, they're sold, uh, uh, from Expedition as well, but separately, I didn't get those, um, the size of it, you've got the main, uh, compartment, um, you know, the main sort of area being uh, uh, four inch uh, in length. Uh, so from there to there, you've got four inches. You've got uh, uh, one inch for the width. Once you've got a bit of stuff in there, one inch. And you've got uh, six inches for the height. Sorry, so that's six, that's four. So there to there, the four. And then from the top to the bottom there, the length is uh, your... Uh, four in, or six inches, sorry. And then you've got the uh, uh, material that it's made of. It's a 1050 uh, denier water and uh, abrasion resistant. It's a lightweight ballistic uh, nylon fabric. Uh, 
and you've got uh, triple uh, polyurethane uh, coated uh, on this uh, heavy weave uh, uh, polyester or polyurethane uh, and you've got high tensile strength nylon webbing uh, you've got uh, you've got uh, internal seams that are taped and finished so let's have a look um, so yeah but I can't see the tape but I'm sure it's there uh, uh, yeah anyway it says it has um, the um, the paracord zipper pulls excellent um, uh, excellent uh, little uh, easy to replace uh, thing. Uh, you got the st all the stress points on this are double stitched. They're either um, bar tacked or box and X stitched for added strength. So yeah, yeah, you can see that coming through the back there, that box stitch, there, the handle. So uh, you got the YKKs, you got the Teflon um, fabric protector, uh, which uh, helps with grime resistance and uh, easy uh, to wipe down and clean it up if you get a bit of mud or dirt on it. Uh, so yeah, they stay uh, looking good for a long time. And uh, it's, um, yeah, also, as I say, very easy to clean just with a, a damp cloth and it'll come up. Um, and the pricing on this, uh, in Australia, the Mini, is around the uh, the best price I've ever seen it for is about the thirty five dollar mark here in Australia. That's Australian dollars, and uh, forty five is more around the standard sort of dollar mark that you'll pay for one of these. Uh, seems like a lot, but you got it for a lifetime, so I wouldn't complain. Uh, you could, but I wouldn't. Uh, you've got um, the US, you can normally pick one of these up and correct me if I'm wrong for around the uh, $20 mark. If you've paid more or paid less, let me know what it is down below in the comments. And yeah, I'd appreciate uh, you telling me. The um, As far as the um, uh, anything else to say, no, I don't have anything really much else to say other than you can use these things for just about any situation. So sometimes it's a good idea to buy a few of them. And uh, chuck one in the glove box. Throw one in the um, uh, throw one in the um, you know, on the back of your bike. In the uh, you know you can um, wherever you, you I put it in my camera bag. Uh, but yeah, please yourself and uh, put them wherever needed. Uh, so I love them. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I'm wearing a Mito Ocean Star Tribute. Um, uh, which uh, one day I'll do a review on uh, some watches. Uh, I thought maybe I should start pointing out the watches I'm wearing. And uh, after all, it's an everyday carry, isn't it? And uh, yeah, so I like this one. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit for you. Uh, there you go, I'll just focus. So yeah, uh, nice watch, signed crown. Uh, uh, made in Switzerland and uh, it is a eight hour power reserve automatic uh, beating at uh, 21,600 beats. Uh, so yeah, nice, uh, nice watch. And uh, uh, yeah, the one I'm wearing today. So that's it. Uh, look, if uh, you'd like to um, leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to uh, leave a comment, uh, love you to do that uh, just tell me your thoughts and any ideas you have uh, very much appreciate any questions you've got I'll get back to you as soon as I can probably within uh, 24 hours and uh, as far as um, subscribing I'd love you to so please do this is uh, Tom Rush Rush Reviews subscribe if you want to see more content like this till next time catch you then thank you bye bye